Hey folks, Harry here and welcome to the Hardcore Minecraft episode 1 in the new 1.21 Tricky Trials update. Today we are starting a brand new world in Hardcore using the seed building with Harry and this is the world that you will get. My goal of this series is to create an amazing Minecraft world of interconnecting cities, getting used to playing Hardcore and learning how to build better. Now as I am more into my technical redstone stuff, building doesn't come easy, so I will start off terrible, but please let me know in the comments things I should do or change to a build to make it better. So a few things I will be doing is turning off fire ticks so that I can add fire to certain builds, and I will also be removing my pet peeve of endermen picking up blocks. Now leave a like and please subscribe if you are new as you do not want to miss out, so let's get going. Alright then, first things first, let's punch some trees. Awesome. Right, crafting table next. There we go. Some sticks. Pop that down and make our first pickaxe. If only had an anvil to name it. And then we could showcase that for the rest of the season. Anyway, let's head up to the village on the hill there. And hopefully we can get some good stuff. Huh. Just a single hay bale. Really? Wait, where's all the other houses? Oh, they must be further. Alright, what have we got in here? Oh, we've got a bed. Nice, that's a good find. Right, let's get let's up further and see what else we've got. Ooh, there's some coal. Oh, we've got a bell. Let's grab that. And... Wait a minute. I think that's the only house in this whole... And really? Wow. The only house in this whole village. That is crazy. Right. Oh. Hello. Some iron. Right. Let's quickly grab some stone. Upgrade our pickaxe. And mine this iron. Right, we'll get a furnace. Good thing we found that coal, actually. Right, shove them in and that. And then I will make more sticks. We'll get a stone axe. We need the iron. We'll make a shield. Give us some protection. Oh, gosh. Right, let's get the iron pickaxe. There we go. Wow. Can't believe we're here already. It's so good. Can I just see how beautiful this place is? Look at it. We've got like one, two, three, four, five peaks. And I think there's another one on the other side. This is going to be a cool place to build in. All right, now that we've got some protection and a better pickaxe, I now need food. I found my targets. I am so sorry. But they're gonna taste amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get to that food in because I'm gonna need that extremely soon. With the food now sorted, I decided to go and explore out and about in our world. I head up over the mountains here, and I find this massive ravine. Find some more sheep, get some more mutton from them, and then I find this lovely river where I decided to clean up the population of salmon, getting a whopping 51 of them. I then find a shipwreck which we go in, getting some chests, some iron, gold, some maps for some buried treasure, some moss as well. I decide to make a boat so that I can head out in search of this buried treasure. Finding another sunken ship. Decide to go in and search the chest that we've got. Find some more moss and carrots. And another buried treasure map. And loads of iron. Finally getting the buried treasure. We get one diamond. Which is not too bad. I start to head back to our area that I want to start building in. Where I find another shipwreck. Searching this shipwreck. Didn't have too much stuff. Same map for the same buried treasure. As well as some armor pieces and potatoes which is another item we're going to need and i also found some smithing templates which is nice but i don't know if we'll use them anyway let's head back right well that's all cooking up let's actually take a look at what we got so we get 30 pieces of iron just from that actually 31 because that's another one which is really really good 
Uh, do we have any stacks? Maybe just enough. Because if I do that, I, I definitely have enough for every single piece of tool and armor, which is really good. There we go. Uh, one piece left over. Ooh. Now, do I... Did I make two shields? No, I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, right, I'll use that for another shield. But I do have these two things here. Now, my question is, is it better to have them on? Oh, definitely. Even though that one does have blast protection, which would be amazing if we did accidentally get attacked by a creeper. So I want to... Oh, oh, gosh. Hello? Oh, oh. When I'm waiting that stuff finished cooking, I want to chop down a few trees here just to get some sticks and some extra wood for when we go down into the caves to get some resources. Now, I know I don't need iron, but I do want to get a few other things like coal, like copper, like andesite, more cobblestone. And if I really could, I would love to get diamonds. But, I mean, that's, that's possibly way off. Who knows? Okay, so I have got a stack of logs, a crafting table, some sticks, and some coal. I'm actually going to make these into... Oh. A stack of torches. That's quite handy. I've got a load of barrels here. I'm actually going to use barrels a lot more in this season, just because I, I believe chests are very lag-intensive. So, barrels being blocks rather than entities. Don't know how it works, but supposedly it does. But yeah, we've got lots of stuff. Let's head down into the caves and find all the stuff that we need. Okay, that's just back up from the mine. And I have got a lot of iron, which is good. I had to make a new sword. May as well make it out of diamond. And I will make an iron pickaxe right now, actually. So that when that one runs out, we have this all ready to go. Perfect. So let me pop this stuff in here. I will grab these and turn them into wheat. I will grab all my sticks and planks that I have. And I will make a load of fences. I think about almost a stack will be better than nothing. And we're going to jump right here. So what's important about this place right now is the fact that I have got loads of cows. There's some up there as well. And some sheep. And I'm going to put them in a few pens. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five. Like so. And then I'm going to get the wheat. And I'm going to entice some sheep into this one. And like that. And then breed them up. Like that. Make sure none of the other ones can get in. And we're done. Now... I need some food. Oh, that was really good. Now, I think we should make ourselves a wee mini smelter. So, grab these two. Yeah, and I need 36 iron, and now I need a bit of wood, actually. There we go, and... One, two, three... Ah, oh, I don't have enough. So, one, two, three, four. For the initial chest, and then... Six for the hoppers. And then I want two barrels as well. Or the coal. Perfect. Right, let's go and put this down. I'm just going to shove it here. It's out of the way. And it won't get in my way. And it's easy to access. I mean, from there to here. And it's only temporary until we get our starter house done. And now all I need to do is wait for the iron to smelt. I can put one, two... No, I can put that in there. That in there. I will throw all the food that we've got in there just now. And then I will empty my inventory. And while we're waiting on that to finish, I will make a new item. 
a diamond axe since our I one broke. Hello. Excuse me. What are you selling us? Um nothing I need at all. Yeah. I mean that's a shame that he had absolutely nothing I needed. I was kinda hoping for something, so now ah well. And with these last two hoppers, you'll get all this stuff through and it will efficiently cook the food. Not massively efficiently, but more efficiently than what I would do if I was just standing here. Anyway, what time is it? I know it's getting late. Now, do we have any food yet? We do! Yay! Oh, so good. And then we have another two ready and waiting for us. Perfect. Ooh, we get some new things to do. Yeah, this, this is good. Let me take care of these guys. Ooh. Ah. I hope they still dropped. He dropped the banner. Did we get a new potion? I think we did. Yeah, we got it. What did we get? We got Bad Omen 1. That's fine. But we got our first ominous bottle. That's so cool. S sorry. Anyway, what I want to do right now is take this water bucket, place it right here, and pick it back up. That was fun. No, what I'm doing is clearing the grassy areas so that I can get a bunch of seeds for our next part that we need to get done, which is building a little wheat field so that we can feed our cows and sheep and get a lot more food and wool. All right, so I got almost half a stack from that, which is really good. I got half a stack from that, which is really good. Uh, what I'm going to do is pop this water down here, grab our hole, and then one, two, three, four corner. One, two, three, four corner. One, two, three, four corner. Ooh. And like that, and then we just make a square. Like so. And then let's just plant down these seeds, and we will continue on with what we're doing. So I'm going to jump over to this little bit here, and we're going to set up a small sugarcane farm just now. This is actually for a bigger thing I want to do and that involves maps and mapping the area out. I'm going to start from here and I'm going to go diagonally 10 and then I'm going to square it off and with a bucket I'm going to place it on every single spot in the middle here. And there, there, there's logic to this madness, okay? Stay with me. Right. And then, from there, we're going to clear out the area. Grass. Leaving these bits in just now. And then, remove these bits. Perfect. And then, from here, I'm going to create a sort of ziggy zaggy S shape through the, the water like this. You're probably like, why are you filling it back in? Uh, so that I don't have to go and individually fill every single one of these. It's a pain in the neck. And filling that all back in gives us this kind of pattern of dirt and water. The reason for this is actually, this is the most efficient way of farming sugarcane. And basically, there is no spot kind of apart from that one left undone that allows me to place the sugarcane and even these bits here and the outside so yeah one of the most efficient ways apart from obviously automatically is farming sugarcane so yeah and now it's just a case of i need to let these grow for a little bit so it's going afk in a hardcore world sounds a bit silly 
but it's not that bad there we go so i want to be in an area where i am close to both of them so i'm gonna go into here get the dirt and block myself in like so place the torch give me some light so nothing can spawn and i'll just wait it out we've got enough paper for 50 maps which is exactly the amount we need to make all of these 25 maps plus lock them in and we can update the maps as we go along so we have this sorted over here in our handy dandy furnace i cooked up some glass which i am using the wrong texture for so that i can make some glass panes get some wood and i can make a cartographer's table now the reason i'm using this is because we can put these in i'll get some more oh wait no that was paper that wasn't glass i'm an idiot i uh, should have extra paper here there we go i can put glass panes in there get some more and we can lock them in so we can get up to 32 which is fine but obviously not at the moment because we need to make it all so let's make these maps so all these compasses all these maps done 25 which i will keep in this barrel here which actually has some awesome stuff in it so while i was afk and every so often i would just hear some pillagers appear and i got these bottles so these are the ominous bottles and new ones that will help cause raids and villages and also help make an ominous trial when you get it so i got one bad omen one but i got a bad omen three bad omen four and a bad omen five which is the maximum you can get anyway while we're doing that let's start mapping out the area so i have taken away the farms down there so that's just still going but that'll load and i think I don't know whether to do it from here or from spawn because I'm going to be building in this way. I can always expand the maps if and when I need it. Look at that, Look at that mountain. Yeah, so I think we'll start here and we'll figure out how we're doing. Whoa, okay. Right, let's pop that on there and we'll start running around. And that is the last map. Now I just need to lock all these and can I just say this was a bigger trouble to do than I thought it was going to be. Um, <laughs> if you're doing this, commit to it because trying to navigate these waters is it's not fun. Anyway, let's get these all down. Now can I duplicate them in here? I can. That's fine. Right, so that's all the maps in there. They're the ones that I'm not locking because of updating. Oh, couldn't get that word. And then these are the ones I am going to lock. So these will never change ever again. And now I need to try and figure out where they all go. And done. Finally. Cool. That is just awesome. I don't know about you, but like that incorporates so much. So we've got our spawn area right here, which we could probably expand here. And then we'll go all the way down over the mountain. Like I want, because obviously there's another peak up here on this bit of the map. And then let's get these two peaks down here. Like this as a big map would look amazing. Like absolutely amazing as like a carpet in the spawn world. <gasps> oh, you spawn in on the carpet. Oh perfect we've got our idea but yeah i love it i absolutely love it anyway let's carry on with today's episode okay so i now want to get started on our starter base and i need to collect some items now i've got a load of cobblestone and andesite here which is going to be one of the main components of it i want a load of spruce wood whoa What's going on with the cat? Whoa, ho, ho, that's cool. Anyway, load of spruce wood and a bit of maybe birch or oak. 
I'll get both just in case. It's about to become night time, so let's grab a wee sleep and then I'll go and get all that stuff. It is now day 50. We have been playing 50 days in this world, which is absolutely amazing. I honestly don't think I've lasted that long in hardcore ever, so I'm extremely happy for it. But now, now I think it's time we move out of this and get into an actual house. So let's get building. So this is the area that I want to build in. Where I'm standing is actually going to be our wizard's tower, where we are going to put our enchantment set up at the top. From here, I'm going to do this and then it's a case of... That's the inside. So that's how far round it's got to be. And that is the circle. It's actually quite big. I thought it'd be a lot smaller, but no. Okay, and now I want to do 7 by 13, and that is the basic shape. Right, let's build up. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I am so confused. I have no idea how I've built this. I'm not a builder, but I like it. I have taken inspiration from other things, but... I have no idea how I built this. Um, I'm, I, I, I think I need to split this up, but I don't know how. So please let me know in the comments below how I should split this bit up. Because I just feel like this is too much. I need to have something here. But yeah. Oh, same with these bits as well. Oh, there's a window there. Oh, there's a window there. But yeah. I... <sighs> I like I like it. I do. I like the wee gradient here. I like this. This is annoying me. And this wee bit here is annoying me as well. I don't know if I should change that to the planks. I probably should. But I like it. Uh -huh. I I normally don't like my builds, and this this is one of the first ones that I've done where I've actually enjoyed. It. I even have a wee balcony. Look, I can actually go outside and enjoy the view. I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if I should fix anything, because I really should. But now I need to get everything in here. Okay, so that's pretty much everything in. All those barrels are now in this. Like, and I even got extras. So that's quite a compact down which is good i've got my anvil here i've got my stone cutter here i have this if we want to start going down the way and then i've got this up here for when we want to start doing the maps again and then up here i have my enchanting area which is not filled yet with an enchantment table so let's go and do that Okay, so I need two diamonds, four pieces of obsidian. I need some paper and some leather. Now, go upstairs to this crafting table, craft a book, and then we get the enchantment table, which is awesome. Now, I'm going to place this smack bang in the middle here. Now, I need to make the bookshelves. Now, I don't know how much stuff I actually have for it. So I need more leather. I need a lot more leather. I thought I had a lot more leather than that. I don't. Hmm. That will get us three. I need minimum 15 and I want a lot, lot more than that. So throw this back in here just now and we'll go and check out our cows, which are down there somewhere. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. I guess it's up to 12. So, yeah, I think we need to go find some more. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just say this? This looks cool. It's just sitting up there in the distance. That looks awesome. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Wow. Now that's a village. Uh, it looks like we've got all the crop products as well, which is good. That means we can get some awesome fields created. But yeah, that's a cool wee village. So close. Like, just over this hill. There we go. 15 bookshelves. 
Now I just need to go and put them all around here. And level 30. So our first could be efficiency 4. Ooh, we need to go and get it right now. All right, first enchant of the season. Efficiency 4, can we get fortune with it? <gasps> no way! Oh! That is the best we could do. Oh, that's so good. Uh -huh. Now all we need is mending and that's like, well, efficiency 5, but that's like the perfect smite. Mm. What am I getting in this? Unbreaking? I will... Oh, oh yeah, I mean, okay. Okay, that's all right. Sharpness 4. Oh. Uh, oh, I don't have enough. Ooh. Ooh. Right, give me a second. And we'll pull that out, yep. And then I can reset that. Oh wow, that's that's a really good shovel. Especially with that silk touch on it. Yeah, that's so good. Now, with the Fortune 3, I can go down to the mine and get a whole load of diamonds. But I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for joining me in the first season. If you have enjoyed, smack that like button. Subscribe as well. I am trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. That would be amazing for me to be able to do. And I hope you are enjoying yourself. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.